effects of moving air. Take a glass and a postcard. Keep the glass on a table and the postcard on the glass. Wave our hand or notebook above the postcard to displace the air just above the postcard. Can we guess what happens? Now, wet the edges of glass with water. Stick the postcard to it and hold it inverted with our left hand and move our right hand or notebook to move the air from under the paper. When we move our hand, there is movement of air caused. The moving air creates low pressure. Hence, the paper lifts up due to the higher pressure on the paper from air in the glass. When we hold the glass facing down, the same thing happens and the air inside the glass pushes the paper out and makes the paper fall down. Wind, uneven heating on the earth. Let us try to find how uneven heating takes place on the surface of the earth. There are a number of reasons for this. Uneven heating between the equator and the poles. We might have learned in geography that the region close to the equator gets more heat from the sun. This is because of the direction of the sunlight being straighter close to the equator. The warm air raises and the cooler air from the regions in the 0 to 30 degree latitude belt on either side of the equator moves in. This wind blows from the north and the south towards the equator. The warm air at these latitudes raises up and the cloud wind from the polar regions rushes in to take its place. In this way, wind circulation is set up from the poles to the warmer latitudes. Let us try to understand how winds are produced, how they bring rain, and how they can be destructive sometimes. Cyclones A cyclone is known by different names in different parts of the world. It is called a hurricane in the American continent. In Philippines and Japan, it is called a typhoon. It is called a cyclone in India. Cyclones are a form of violent storms on earth. Let us try to understand the phenomenon of cyclone through the following activity. Activity Take glass containing water and two straws. Keep one straw in the water and another in horizontal direction and blow through the horizontal straw. When we blow over the straw, the water comes out due to low pressure which forms inside the straw. So, the water from the glass reaches up in the straw due to high pressure. We see that the increased wind speed is accompanied by the reduced air pressure. Formation of Cyclone Tropical cyclones are like giant engines that use warm moist air as fuel. The warm moist air raises upward from near the surface. The warm air raises causing an area of lower air pressure below. Air from surrounding areas of high air pressure pushes into the low pressure area. Then, this new air becomes warm and raises too. As the warm air continues to raise, the surrounding air swells in to take its place and the water from the sea surface also comes up with the air. As the warmed moist air raises and cools off, the water in the air forms clouds. 
the whole system of clouds and winds, spins and grows, fed by the ocean's heat and water evaporating from the surface. Satellite images help us to predict the path of the cyclones to some extent. Factors contributing to cyclone Factors like wind speed, wind direction, temperature and humidity contribute to the development of cyclones. In India, cyclones usually occur in the month of May to June and October to November. More cyclones tend to occur on the eastern side, that is, towards Bay of Bengal.